We get it. You can do it with your fiberglass six weight. You can do it all. But sometimes a nice little four weight is perfect. Fly, fish, food, 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 food. So today we're going to talk about different options for dry fly rods. It's spring, it's starting to get spring here. And sometimes you don't want to go out and throw smaller dry flies with your big five or six weight. So we're going to break down some really good options for four weight smallish dry fly rods. For you golfers out there, would you play a whole round of golf with a seven iron? Maybe. So we're going to show you some other options with fly rods to maybe make your fishing a little bit more enjoyable. So first of all, we have the G Loomis NRX Plus LP eight and a half foot four weight. This is the lightest of the rods that we've tested for this. And it's a really nice rod to throw a really super tight loop, really accurate. You can aerial mend really well with it. It's got a nice moderate feel to it. And it's a, it's a really awesome rod just to fish all day long because of how light it is. I felt this one out of the four that we're kind of comparing was super zippy. Like I could zoom, it, the recovery on it was really fast. I could get really tight loops and pinpoint like a midge. Uh, really where I wanted it to be and it had the power but also that kind of light touch so it was um, zippy is probably the word that I use for it. The fly line that we chose to pair with this is a Scientific Angler's Trout. Uh, it's the Amplitude Series Trout just because it's true to line weight. It's a four weight line. It's got a longer belly and it allows you to kind of be more delicate when you're casting. Next is the Scott Radian. So the Scott Radian is a faster rod in their lineup, but still it's a Scott. It's going to be buttery smooth. This rod is an awesome rod for everything from delicate presentation dry flies to throwing lighter indicator rigs. This is a nine foot rod and it throws a really, really nice loop. It's got the power to get some distance. Um, maybe not as good as the G series or the NRX Plus LP in the tight, really delicate situations. But I, I've really enjoyed throwing this. It's a lightweight rod, it's got plenty of power, and it doesn't feel overly heavy for a four weight. I like, I'm kind of the same opinion where if I was going to go really more delicate, this wouldn't necessarily be the rod. But I mean, one of the things out of all the all four of these that we're comparing, this one I felt was probably more all purpose. So. Uh, you could put an indicator rig on it. Um, it's certainly good at throwing dry flies. I mean, the Radiant is a, an insane rod to begin with. Um, but it's got power enough to throw bigger things. You could even do small streamers, uh, whereas I may not do that with maybe the G-Series, but still uh, lob some really nice small dry flies in there as well. So because of the all-purpose nature of the Radian, we've chosen to pair it with the Scientific Angler's Amplitude Infinity Taper. So the Infinity Taper is one and a half times the line weight, and the, the taper is such that you can do a whole bunch of different things, everything from delicate dry flies. So the Amplitude line, like I said, is can do everything from del delicate dry flies all the way to, to heavy indicators, and maybe even a, a good boat rod for throwing longer casts. Okay, next on the docket is the Scott G Series, which for me was probably my favorite rod to throw for just pure dry flies. It has more of a progressive flex to it, um, not as quick a recovery time, but when you cast this, you can feel it. It's still super accurate, and as far as just casting a dry fly and enjoyment of that and, and just the feel, this was my favorite out of the four and how it cast. I agree. So this this is arguably the most popular fly rod from Scott, in my opinion. This is the eight foot, eight inch four weight, which is a very unique length, but there's something about that eight foot, eight inch length that really makes it an awesome presentation rod. Like Curtis said, it's buttery smooth. You're not gonna ever slap your, your fly down too hard on the water. Well, Curtis probably could. But the other thing that I like a lot about this rod is with small dry flies, you're fishing really light tippets, six, maybe seven X sometimes. And it's got a lot of uh, tippet protection built right into the tip of the rod. Anyway, 
if you're looking for like the ultimate dry fly stick the scott g series would be my pick so anyway the the trout taper fly line for the g series fly rod i think that it's a match made in heaven just for that buttery smooth delicate presentation okay so we have an ugly white label i don't even know why people fish it uh, fact of the matter is when there's snow on the ground it kind of blends in in all seriousness we have the orvis h3d in a nine foot four weight yes we realize there's an h3f as well i actually chose this rod because of some of the applications we use it for fishing out of the boat and fishing terrestrials but this rod is absolutely an awesome midge rod as well um, it's going to cut through the wind really nicely it's going to lay down a fly nice and delicately as well because of, of how light it is. But this is the, uh, a faster action rod from them. It's really good for a, an indicator rig and uh, also throwing small flies as well. The My main thing, kind of like the Radian with this one, is it's a good all-around four-weight. So if, like we talked about in the beginning, you, know, you could do everything with a five-weight or you could do everything with a six-weight. But if you're going to go functionally for a different rod, uh, something that's a little bit better for smaller streams, smaller rivers, especially dry flies, but you still may need to throw a streamer, you still may want to throw a bigger nymph rig. This would do the trick there. I felt this one had probably about the most even power throughout the distance, so I could power it in short distance, power it out longer distance, and I felt like I wasn't losing anything. Um, so it still maintained its power across that range. Uh, but yeah, again, all around incredible dry fly rod in the uh, H3D. With this rod, we've paired it with the MPX Amplitude from Scientific Anglers, and uh, it, it's a perfect match for this rod. It throws a really tight loop and, and at distance, so we, we dig it. Four weight fly rods are awesome for dry flies. Shout out to my brother in and Washington. Yeah, so what was I saying? Four weight fly All rods. All these rods, little dudes. And the cool thing about filming here on the Provo River is you run into cool anglers who are patient with us, with chatting all the time. What's your name? I'm Mike. Mike. Mike's long, here. Long time a... fan, first time joiner. <laughs> <laughs> and what's your name? My name's Jordan. Come stand right here, Jordan. All right, my name's Jordan. I'm flying from the Provo River this spring. It's going to be a great day. Boom. Awesome. There you go. Thanks, guys. You're in the video, you fellas. <laughs> okay, so again you can do all that stuff with your grandpappy's six weight fiberglass trophy tamer we get it but sometimes if you have a bunch of four weights like that it can make fishing so much more fun anything that we talked about all the lines the reels the rods links in the bottom swing by the shop if you want to chat about them or shoot us a message in instagram facebook youtube whatever they might have to talk to lance though. just call ahead and we'll make him go upstairs it's it's fine <coughs> Coronavirus mask. <laughs> Those are the outtakes. <laughs> no, that's staying in there. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs>